What's up guys, this is the one and only Light Crypto here and today finally we are going to be doing an updated airdrop guide on Monad which is still on testnet and obviously once we hit the mainnet that's when the airdrop and the TGE are going to be taking place and I'm assuming that's going to be middle of summer or end of summer. Obviously the market conditions are going to be having an effect on the actual launch. And obviously at this point, we do not have the tokenomics, which also could mean that there might be a second airdrop and third airdrop, which are gonna be taking place during the actual mainnet phase. But let's now focus on the actual testnet stuff here today. So first and foremost, there's a one thing I need to drill into your head. Do I have your attention now? Do I have it? which is the fact that Monad is the most valuable testnet there is. It has perfected the Trinity hype community and valuation. OG Labs have maybe raised more money than Monad, but it doesn't have the same user base. It doesn't have the same hype and it doesn't have that community thing going on. And they haven't even announced that there is going to be an airdrop. They're probably going to be giving to the private sales and obviously they had a node sale. So those are going to be accumulating a lot of the tokenomics. So it's not going to be as valuable thing to farm compared to Monad. And all the other projects are nowhere near in valuation to Monad. So this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, guys, to actually make some significant amount of money from a freaking testnet, I repeat once again, like this is likely gonna be the largest testnet based airdrop known to crypto history. This is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. And yeah, there's like things like Mega Eighth, which could be like something we do a video on, but I think they mentioned that testnet is not gonna matter. Now let's go into a bit of the other speculation things over here. So obviously the testing transactions are gonna be playing a part, but there are NFTs and staking things which could get you allocation. We have mad lads over here and there's a lot of connections and things explained. These prices over here are outdated because these are from January. So numbers are very different now. So we have mad lads, a pretty expensive NFT. I think it's 35 Solana right now. Uh, last time I checked, we have Vassiverse, a bit more affordable NFT. They have also Barachain versions of their collection. Pythidium, this one I actually own alongside with Matlats. I think they are very much in poise to do uh, actual allocation because Pyth has been very connected to Monad. And staking Pyth is another one. So in case you're going to be buying a Pythidium, make sure that you're going to be staking on that same account. And then we have staking W. And honestly, I did sell all my wormhole. Wormhole is losing so much in valuation as of right now. And it's really hard to justify buying it back. And especially once the monad drop happens, it's going to drop again in price. Um, so there's going to be a direct correlation to that. So if you get to buy the dip, maybe you can consider it. Then we have Pudgy Penguins NFT. It could include little Pudgies and the main Pudgies. So those are also very much in the cards. Now, in terms of this is my account, so I made a fresh account for this whole video. So we're gonna be seeing if you started out today, will you be eligible? So I only have eight transactions over here. The absolute minimum guys has to be like 20, 25. And I always say, you can't just do 25 transactions in a one single day. It has to be spread out. So obviously we are kind of far away in but given to the fact that we don't have the tokenomics yet, we are not early, but we are not late to the party. So I think it's definitely within reason to still get an actual allocation by participating today. You may not get the max allocation throughout this era, potentially, um, if you start out today. Obviously, those other NFTs and stakings might actually contribute to that. So if you're doing those already, it might help you. But I'm saying here that this is very important to understand activity over weeks and months and just do daily things. And other thing which was mentioned somewhere which I've forgotten to find out about is the MON token on testnet. So you want to accumulate much MON as possible because there might be a direct correlation on how much MON you have and how much of an airdrop you're going to be getting. I think they already mentioned that everybody who has MON are going to be getting an airdrop allocation. So farm it. You can get this from the actual Discord servers there is an official faucet, which you can use. And this is, you know, um, you can get multipliers by connecting your discord and things like that. There's going to be a captcha 
and there's going to be a requirement to have some ETH there. So uh, it's not for everybody, which is good. So there's kind of like a bot proof. And maybe um, I already claimed out earlier today, so I'm not able to claim out again. But that's one way to do it. But there's one uh, genius trick uh, that I invented. No, well, maybe somebody else invented it, but I thought about this. So there's a gas chip, which is a project that is using layer zero technology. So this is going to be something that can potentially get you two different airdops, layer zeros, a second airdop, which is going to be taking place, and also monads. So you can actually buy testnet tokens on this thing. This is very convenient. So I'm going to be buying monad testnet tokens. It says $50 minimum, but that's arbitrary as I can put any number here. And then on the inbound chain, it's going to be where I'm going to be paying this uh, transaction from. So I'm going to be uh, finding a chain where I actually have money and maybe that's going to be base. So I have money here. I'm going to be moving $10. Then I'm going to be um, copying my actual address over here where the money is going to be sent to. And that's going to be here. And then we're going to be hitting send. And I'm going to be getting 143 mon. Actually, it's now changed the number, which is crazy. Um, you got to be careful about that, guys. But obviously, uh, we're going to be making $15 or something. So 42 mon, uh, $50 is not bad because with 150 mon, you can buy a couple of blue chip NFTs uh, in the chain, which might be like very valuable as the chain launches. I think Monad is going to be like bear chain. It's going to be this is a bit of like a cult style of a chain. The NFT collections, I'm not going to lie, are not super impressive so far, but they might evolve as Monad launches and things get more interesting. So this is a very good way to get mon and maybe there is going to be some type of a dollar cost calculation here. Like maybe there's another way to buy monad testnet tokens very cheaply. And then like you could maybe measure like, okay, monad's valuation is going to be $10 per token. Am I paying with dollars to buy basically a TGE price? You know, like that's how maybe counted it. Like maybe this 42 mon here right now could be worth $45 right now. That could be a definite like possibility over here it could be one dollar token but we don't know that's speculation uh, another things we obviously want here is as always on these airdrop guides are actual domains so i'm going to be buying out a domain here and i'm going to be registering it you have to manage it obviously i think you can um transfer the ownership is there some type of record over here um, Put this google.com does this create a normal transaction for us confirming yes it does so you can do a couple of updates here and farm transactions by adding your socials over here you want to do and maybe you want to buy another one these domains maybe be able to be sold somewhere um, yes actually they are on um, magic eden then we have all domains which has we have featured this on our eclipse video there's soon Sonic and Solana as well. If you have the money, I would register all those five because all domains is going to be having their own airdrop and doing that is you know be you're going to be eligible for all these three over here as well. So I don't know if Sonic is having a season two airdrop soon. I've invested in, but they're also going to be doing an airdrop and Eclipse obviously is also there. So I'm going to be doing another domain here, YouTube. I'll just, just do this random. Um, this was earlier not working, and let me buy this. And let me see if I can buy like a very, very low letter domain. Those are always going to be very valuable. Um, these are very small. Let's do bit top. KKKK. Okay. <laughs> um, damn. Okay. I'm just going to buy two domains here. I just don't really care. Um, that's that's like you want to get like a very low letter domain and these are going to be giving you points all that more and there's other things you can do on here uh, you can renew them coming soon apparently so this is going to be part of the criteria for all domains so you're doing two things at once and these can be flipped and these can be even bridged apparently or is this just a bridge project by yeah i think this is a bridge then we have a pump fun clone nat fun this is actually a pretty big project there's a lot of people actually using it and this is your best shot if you don't have the money guys to make more mon so 
do these quests. You can do, do a trade over here on the platform and create your own token. That's probably something you should do. Um, let me see if I can find something random on, on the computer to put out of here. Okay, and then we're gonna be putting nice monad. Kek, 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 kek. And I'm gonna be creating a token over here. Um, I'm gonna be buying worth of 0 0.4 of it, creating that coin. And this is like something you wanna do. I'm not expecting to make money with it, but NatFun is obviously having their own form of a the point system. There's a referral program, so please use my link. This is a one way to really get a lot of uh, guys. Since the testing tokens are technically free, unless you're using gas chip, I really recommend just using NatFan to basically buy shit. And then you're just going to be having the ability to make a more mon. And then you can maybe buy some of these blue chips, which we are going to be talking about in a second. And obviously, as I said in the beginning of the video, more mon you have, the better. And obviously, in this type of platform, trading back and forth is going to be getting a lot of transactions. So as I said, minimum should be 25. But since it's a testnet, we really should be talking about ballpark of 50 transactions at least to be eligible. Um, there are some websites where you can track your process. Another place where we can actually do a lot of things is Atlantis. So this is a DEX. And by doing 20 daily trades, um, you can basically, so let's say I'm trading 0 0.25 mon here. I'm going to be swapping it. Um, I'm going to be getting these transactions over here. And once you hit 20 transactions, you are able to mint this NFT. And these NFTs could be valuable on the secondary markets or, um, well, at least they're going to be giving you transactions. And maybe you can buy a certain token from this marketplace, which you can flip for better and get more mod. So there's a chance of drops, 3% legendary, ultra rare and rare. Uh, so another place where you can easily do farm too. And they obviously have their own token coming out. So you're doing two drops at the same time. And they also have a staking uh, opportunity over here. Might as well put one uh, mon here for staking as it is not a problem. There are a couple of other liquid staking protocols obviously existing on Monad right now. Then we have an unprover. This is like a deep in project where you basically just log in and you just basically uh, hit the button and it will start automatically doing some calculations. I don't think this is using your um, internet or anything, anything basically. It's just like doing calculations randomly and you're going to be getting rewards and they are going to be having a token launch later on. I think they have a private sale going on right now on spring.net, which I've featured on the previous videos, but enough about that. So that's another one that you can do for free. Uh, then lastly, or almost last that we have magic Eden and there are a lot of NFT collections already here. And it's always hard to tell which ones are going to be having trajectory and gravitas and the interest throughout the mainnet but these are like if i contra contrast these monad prices into the gas chip thing these are pretty expensive so the chalk pass the scrum pets already have value but there are some cheap stuff here like um these inus which are five monads so i look um i'm just gonna buy one here because maybe 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 i can just make a flip here i like huskies i like dogs so, hey, let's just do a transaction over here. We get some trades and maybe we can flip it. Maybe it will be more valuable on the mainnet. And there are some um, whitelist tokens here. Um, the Molan Dax is probably going to be one of the more bigger uh, collections. And then we had, what, what else we had? It's another one that was kind of interesting over here. And look for the verified ones. Those are the ones that you want to focus on. Spikes. Uh, this one, Seal Illuminati. But this is already kind of expensive. So this is already $50. I might have to look into other place where I can buy cheap Monad. But this would be another one I would buy if I had the actual money to do so. So this has been somewhat hyped on the thing. And I don't know if this is related into Happy Seals. Sappy Seals, sorry. So... Uh, that's another one. And there are a lot of other cheaper NFTs here, which you can buy and try to flip to get more transactions. Then we have a prediction market over here. This is another one you can participate on. And they also have an airdrop going on because there's a leaderboard over here. Let me actually refresh this so I can actually get access to it. 
And there are many other dApps in the whole ecosystem, which I'm not featuring in this video because there's so many, like maybe 50 or something, which is another detriment of like, yeah, this is potentially like very, very valuable, uh, like an ecosystem in terms of like many airdrops that may happen. No, what I meant to say that there's a lot of developers building here because a lot of interest on this chain and its technology is being spouted as like a very, very scalable thing. I mean, it will not be Tsui and Aptos, but in terms of EVM chains, it's likely going to be doing pretty well. So that's another one. And most of these websites do have their own chains as well. So that's something you need to understand. Uh, sorry, faucets, not chains. And another one is SJ, SJ Monad. This is a liquid staking platform here. And it's another place where you can basically park your monad. I think you're going to be getting some type of interest on it. I'm not 100% sure, but it's another one where you can interact and unstake and redeem and all that stuff. So it's, this is another one that have been featured by a lot of things. And these can be put into other DeFi protocols, Kuru, Kurvans, and Cypher. And then lastly, I have this thing called Madness Finance. This is another one, which, which is apparently the lead decks built on Monad. So this is another place where you can do a lot of trades and other types of things. So if you're looking for meme coins and things to trade and do the tasks, which keep your activity levels up. So sometimes having these tasks are gonna be helping you out quite a lot to rack up more transactions. But that's basically what I have to share you about Monad here today. This is a good collection of different dApps which have their own drops coming out and they allow you to rack those activity transactions on the chain as well. Do not forget these NFTs and staking capabilities because at least some of them, at least one of them on this list are 100% going to be one of the criteria or all of them. It, it's kind of up in the air, but it's definitely something that could happen given out that so many of these people are very connected to each other. And that's basically what I have to share with you guys. Make sure to subscribe, like if you have any questions, well, ask them in the comments below what chain you would like to be covered next video. Well, let me know in the comments section. Thanks for watching. See you soon.